Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Making big career choices can be difficult, especially when it comes down to whether you will stay with your current job or not. Quitting is often tied to general unhappiness or an inability to move up within a company, which can spur anger. Don't make a rash decision that you'll regret. Instead, take a few breaths and calculate your next move carefully. Professional tips shared in this video will help you to quit your job smoothly. Do a quit audit. Make a short pros and cons list about what you like and don't like about your current job. It will give you a clear insight about your choices for the future. Have some savings. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, it may be hard to outright quit your job and financially survive until you secure your next position. Aim to have at least six months worth of expenses in your fund to give yourself plenty of time to search for a new source of regular income. Be prepared. The last thing employees want to do is quit their jobs, only to realize they aren't legally allowed to work for the employer to which they think they are headed. Hence, before forwarding your resignation, carefully review all the documents you signed when you took the job. Make sure you did not agree to non-compete or no solicitation clauses. You wouldn't want anything to jeopardize your future. Give plenty of notice. While one-month notice is standard and expected in most professions, the more time a departing employee can give, the better. This will help the company to prepare for a smooth transition. This will be reflected well upon his or her character and certainly reduced anxiety among the ranks. Tell immediate boss first. Employees who had developed close relationships with their supervisors should let them know first before giving the company official notice. If you are a close friend with your boss, the boss may feel slighted and blindsided by the sudden act of resigning. It may also put him or her in trouble. Be direct, but diplomatic. When you quit a job, it's usually because there's a better opportunity for you out there. This situation isn't hard to explain to your current boss, but leaving simply because you're unhappy is another story. Be direct and honest about your unhappiness but stay away from criticism. This change is ultimately about you, not them. Remain positive and move on. Provide reasons. Telling your supervisor exactly why you're leaving can help him or her better understand what retention looks like for that role. For example, if you're leaving because you feel you've hit a professional growth ceiling, a manager is in a better position to use that feedback to think critically about the learning and development opportunities they're providing for other staff, as well as for the individual who will fill your vacant role. Give compliments. It is always recommended to start a resignation meeting by paying the current employer a compliment. HR experts say, Always start with a positive that complements your present employer. There's always something positive that can be said, like, X company provided a very valuable learning environment. Say thank you. Just because you're leaving the company does not mean you are leaving your relationships behind. Make sure you thank your mentors and sponsors and craft a plan to stay in touch. You never know when or how your paths may cross in the future. Have a transition plan. Make sure you don't leave your team or employer in the lurch. Make yourself available in the event it takes time to find your replacement and be willing to train someone to bridge the gap until a backfill can be found. Work until your last day. Minimize the amount of disruption your departure may create and focus on delivering quality work until your last day. You can watch many useful and interesting videos by clicking the links given in the description of this video.
If you like the information given in this video, then share it on Facebook with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for free to keep watching interesting and useful videos.